shot of the famous, famous skull. All right, I'm out here today with Captain Eric Lyon, the one and only backcountry extraordinaire. <laughs> and I will include a link to his channel and a way to get a hold of him if you want to go on an inshore charter with this guy. Yeah, buddy. He'll put you on snook jacks, whatever it is. But today, we're going looking for Pompano. And we're going to be jigging for Pompano in the back countries. So, we're not going to be along the beach. We're going to be in dark water jigging with goofy jigs. These guys right here, all different sizes. These are the goofy jigs. Well, these are what we're going to be using for Pompano today. And I'm sure we'll catch many other species. We caught 14 species today. Hooked up, hooked up. And it's not the right thing. Definitely thought that was a Jumbo blue runner. You ain't the quill, not the jig. What you got? Sheep's head. Jackfish. On the quill. Hammers. Future hammer. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if this is the right kind of fish. Nope, it's not the right. It is dinner though. It's a nice croaker. That's a nice croaker. Two of these guys now. He hit the, the jig too. He's croaking. That's dinner, son. <laughs> Croaker catch and cook. All right, I just got a pompano. Not the biggest pompano. He's not a keeper. You can see he bit the jig, not the quill. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they bite the quill. He's gonna go back. All right, I'm hooked up. It's fighting a little, little weird, but let's see what I got. Feels foul. Though. Right, Eric? Right. Yeah, I'm definitely pulling up backwards. Oh, that's your boy. Oh, that's a horse eye jack. That is a horse eye jack. It's a different species, not like the Jack Ravels. They caught him in the tail. Interesting. The elusive. Sand perch. We should do sand perch catch and cook for sure. I bet you these things are tasty. Got another pompano. This one ate my quill.
Mutton snapper on the goofy jig. Spitting stuff up on me. He ain't a little goby. Yeah. They're in here eating. On the goby. I left a clip of me just jigging and not catching anything so you guys could see exactly how I do it. And if you look really close at what I'm doing, I'm not just bouncing the rod around. I'm actually doing it with a purpose. I'm letting the jig fall to the bottom each time before I bounce it up. And it's usually on the way down that they hit it. And you'll feel them just kind of peck at it. Sometimes they hit it and run. But what I'm just feeling for on my way down is 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 them to pick it up. And I'm just kind of letting it bump the bottom and then I jerk it. I let it fall down, bump the bottom, then I jerk it. And each time you do that, it's creating, it's like stirring up a little bit. Oops, see I got one on right there. I think I just lost it. I pulled the hook. It's hard with these small hooks. You do pull a lot of fish off, but uh, just cast it out and try it again. And you really want to take long casts and kind of sweep the area. And figure out where the fish are holding but each time you bounce it you're just creating like a little stir up off the bottom it's like a little bit of sand or silt gets pushed up and it looks like a shrimp just bouncing around down there and these bright colored quills and jigs really make them curious to try it so you got to be real quick on the attack when they bite it and uh, that's that's really just the key is keeping it on the bottom and being real fast when they bite it or they spit it out when they realize it's not what they want to eat. on the jig. Blue fish. Dinner, son. Looney, bro. You never know what you're going to get on that goofy jig. Oh, oh. Oh, it's long. Already 
these only. What you got? Mr. Snook. 